again. Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is going to be my entire designer contemporary handbag collection. You guys, I did not realize like, I have a lot of bags. I honestly did not realize that I had so many bags. And I actually was just like going through like my closet and I was just like, you know what? It would be a really good idea if maybe I showcased all of my designer contemporary handbags. If anybody knows Sable, Sable is a lover of a handbag. I love a good handbag, you guys. I'm from Coach, Michael Kors you name it so yeah you guys that's what this week's video is going to be about of course i do hope you enjoy this week's video i will have any of the handbags um, that i have that are still currently in stock listed and linked below in my description box and of course you already know i could never officially start another video without just taking the time to thank everyone thank you thank you a million times thank you you guys um this little community of mine just keeps growing and growing and growing. So I truly appreciate it um, from the bottom of my, of my heart. You guys will never understand the likes, the comments, you coming back for more. So once again, thank you. Thank you a million times. Thank you. But other than that, though, let's just go ahead and dive into this week's video of my entire designer contemporary handbag collection. Okay, you guys, so there are actually a total of 17 handbags. And if you see me looking over here, I have them like all laid out. This is going to be in no particular order whatsoever. So the first handbag I would like to show you is my Tory Burch denim Fleming shoulder bag. I absolutely love this handbag. I purchased this handbag earlier this year. I want to say it was back maybe in, it may have been March or April. No, wait a minute. Was it March, April? You guys, I don't even know. It may have been May, but anyways, this is my Tory Burch denim Fleming shoulder bag. I absolutely love this. Tory Burch did not disappoint with this bag. I mean, it eats like the emblem or the logo right here in the front center. I mean, this is like real denim material and I absolutely love it. I love that it's not too big, but yet it's also like kind of like in between, I guess you could say kind of like small, medium, not too big, not too small. It's just right. Love this. And then of course, you know, let's just get into the detailing of the chain the chain with the silver hardware with the denim, it's beautiful. I know like um, denim has definitely been trending a lot this year. Um, truthfully, I think denim has never really gone out of style, but I definitely love how Tori Burch, um, her designer team, um, they did a really good job with this. We also have another Tori Burch Fleming shoulder bag. Now I will say I purchased this one last year for my birthday and I do not regret the purchase at all. I love it. I mean, the supple, beautiful, buttery leather, the gold hardware with the leather interwoven, it's definitely giving like Chanel vibes. And also too, if anyone doesn't know, Sable loves Chanel, like the Chanel handbags. Probably will never be able to afford one, but I love that this is um, a definite, um, alternative piece. I do know that Tory Burch still currently has this one in stock. I do also remember last year there were other colors. I want to say there was like a gray color of this handbag. There was a blue color, obviously black. I love my black. Um, I've just always been a lover of black handbags. I love a, a good neutral color bag. It's beautiful Carl Lagerfeld. And I do sincerely apologize if I am mispronouncing the name but Carl Lagerfeld. I absolutely love this bag. Um, Carl Lagerfeld, the designers, did not disappoint with this bag. Um, it's definitely giving Chanel vibes. Also, too, with that denim trend. Absolutely love it. The gold hardware, the denim interwoven in the chain of the golden hardware. 
I love the fact that they decided to include a back pocket. I love a back pocket, especially because it makes it just um, easier to access like your cell phone or maybe even like your car keys, but I love it. And I also like the fact that the gold, it's like that antique-ish like gold. It's not like that bright, 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 like yellow colored gold. And even like the little turn lock right here that says Carl Lagerfeld. I love this Michael Kors tote. I mean, I know a lot of people don't shop Michael Kors. Now, I will say this tote is extremely old. I have had this probably since 2020. I remember I purchased it through MichaelKors.com, um, their website. It was during COVID. So they had like a lot of really good like online sales going on. But Michael Kors, in my opinion, did a great job with this tote. I mean, it's simple. It's basic. But it is so nice. And I mean, you can get so much of stuff in here. Like the two openings, you've got this one, you've got this one in the back, you've got, well, technically this is the front, you guys. So you've got the front opening, the back opening, all of the pockets, zippers, this little divider, side pockets right there. Now I will say the only con to the tote is that I kind of wish this all like zipped across right here but nonetheless i mean carrying it on the shoulder it's like right up underneath like my arm hit so michael kors did a great job i like that the logo is not just like all splattered on the back it's very subtle you have of course the michael kors right there you have like this little key chain tag thing or whatever but I love it. The exact same layout. And then also to you guys, I think the name of this leather is, I want to say it's like the Sapiano leather. I'm not quite sure. And another thing too, you guys, I am so sorry. I should have been telling you like the style names of these handbags. Well, I know I did with the Tory Burch um, handbags, but I don't think I told you the style name of the Carl Lagerfeld. I honestly don't even know what the style name is for the Carl um, Lagerfeld. And I'm not quite sure what the style name is for the Michael Kors tote. I want to say it's like, you know what, you guys, I'm not going to even try. <laughs> I'm not going to even try to say what the name of this style tote is, because truthfully, I don't really know. Now that I think about it, I thought I knew you guys, but yes, a tote. In my opinion, you can never go wrong with a tote. And like I said, Michael Kors, I think they did a phenomenal job with these totes. I like that the logo is not splattered all on the handbag. It's just a basic, cheap, simple purse. And when I tell you, this thing can hold so much of stuff. Kate Spade backpack purse. I actually purchased this one last year um, to you guys around my birthday. Let's get into it. I mean, that leather is just so beautiful and soft and supple. Lena bucket bag. And I was really, really, really just drawn to that like crocodile and boss like um, design. I've had this Brahmin for a while. Um, I have not worn this in a very, very, very long time. But you guys, this used to be one of my like go-to bags. I used to carry this bag all the time and I actually have the matching wallet on the inside of it, but it's super, super, super big and there's so much space. These next handbags, I had to save the best for last and they are all of my Coach handbags. Coach has definitely done a phenomenal job their designers for their handbags 10 out of a 10 they deserve an absolute raise now i will say most of my collection are my coach handbags and like i said you guys if you see me looking over here i'm looking at my handbags but yes um, most of my designer contemporary collection are my coach handbags I do have a variety of like coach retail and then also to coach outlet. And when I tell you, you guys, there is definitely a big difference, but I will say the quality and the craftsmanship in both retail and outlet coach handbags, in my opinion, 10 out of a 10. 
excuse me, you guys, 10 out of a 10, in my opinion. So let's get into it. Okay, you guys. So right off the bat is this amazing coach outlet piece. And this is so freaking adorable. My sister actually bought me this um, last year for Christmas. Gorgeous. Coach outlet. So she actually bought both the keychain and the purse separately. But yes, I remember seeing Disney's collab with Coach and it stayed on like the Coach outlet site for the longest. And in my mind, I'm just like, man, I really would love to invest in a Disney Coach piece. But the thing was though, it was just like, uh, well, if I do that, would I really wear the bag like all the time? Because you know, I wouldn't typically wear a purse like this on a regular basis. So that's the reason why I never really invested in purchasing it. But my sister was so sweet and bought me a Disney coach collectible piece. And I just feel like this is going to be worth so much of money when years and years and years pass. But this is going to be a collectible in my collection. I do not ever plan on getting rid of any of my coach pieces, especially this one. And then of course my sister, you know, she gave it to me. So yes, you guys, beautiful coach piece. And obviously with the ears, this could really be Mickey Mouse or Minnie Mouse. I love it. And then also too, with the dog tag, it even says Disney X coach. I hope you can see that coach Terry shoulder bag. I mean, Look at that supple black leather. Well, pebbled leather, I should say. The black pebbled leather. Like Coach did not disappoint with this one. Now, I want to say Coach's website now, obviously, I know they don't have the Disney, um, the outlet rather, the Coach outlet site. I know they don't have the Coach Disney collection anymore. However, though, I do think that they do still have the Coach Terry shoulder bag. This one is a beauty. I absolutely love this one, you guys. Beat shoulder bag. This one, you guys, right here, I purchased this one back during COVID at a ridiculously amazing price. Now, this is Coach Retail. This is Coach Retail. I know this isn't really everyone's style just because we have a lot going on. We have, you know, obviously... The coach logo right here we have the coach um carriage right here like yeah the c logo the carriages and then we have this little like buckle piece that's like a c obviously for coach i know there's a lot going on with this bag at first i was just like wow that's a very unique looking bag because truthfully this would not typically be something that i would purchase but you guys when i got this in the mail i was just like this is absolutely stunning in my opinion, it's giving luxe. It kind of reminds me a little bit of like um, Louis Vuitton, a little bit, that's just me. That's just me and my personal opinion. The Coach Cassie. Look at that, you guys, that beautiful pebbled leather, stunning. Now, I will say I also purchased this one back during the pandemic. Yes, a lot of these purchases were made back in the year of 2020. Because, I mean, you know, the world was shut down. I was sitting at home. I was working. And, you know, one thing about Sable, Sable did not let the shopping stop her during the pandemic. I was purchasing so many things um, from offline. Um, my apologies, you guys. I was purchasing so many things, mostly handbags. And shout out to all of the delivery drivers, everyone, um, during that time. And even now, because if it weren't for them, I wouldn't have been able to get all of my purchases. So moving right along, this beautiful Coach Cassie bag. I love it. It is stunning. It's giving Louis Vuitton Pachette Matisse vibes, but on the low low. I love it. I love that there is a back pocket. It's intended to be a crossbody, you guys. I will say that um, right off the bat. So um, we do have the turn lock. We have the shoulder strap where you could wear it as a crossbody or, you know, just long on the shoulder. We have this pocket. 
this big pocket, the zipper, and then we also have this little area right here. We have coach on the inside. I guess you could say this is like a dark violet purple color, but this bag is stunning. Now I haven't worn this bag in a very long, sorry, you guys. I haven't worn this bag in a very long time and the way that I would wear it just because I realize I'm more of a like a shoulder handbag type wearing girl, I would just put this chain on it and boom. So we can take it from top handle, the shoulder bag, and even if we want it to the crossbody because I do have like the long strap. But yes, you guys, this is stunning. 10 out of a 10, you guys. And this is the Cassie, Coach Cassie. And I do know on Coach's website, they don't have the large version of the black available anymore. But I do think that they have the smaller version. And I'm not sure what the size is worth. So please don't quote me. Um, I know this is a certain Coach Cassie size. I'm just not, I don't, I just can't remember, you guys. I can't remember. But anyways, this is the larger version of the Coach Cassie. Coach Andrea Carey All Bag. I will say that I absolutely was drawn to this bag because of like that crocodile and boss print. It's definitely giving me the vibes of like my Brahmin that I have, but this is, in my opinion, absolutely stunning. I love the silver because most of my handbags, as far as black, they have gold hardware. So I really don't have like a lot of handbags that are like black and silver. They're mostly black and gold. But yes, you guys, I like it. It's very cute. It's very dainty. It's giving lux, in my opinion. I like that this one has feet, you guys. I've noticed that with a lot of coach handbags and just handbags in general, and this is no shade to coach, they don't have feet. But I got really lucky with this one. And this is Outlet. This is Coach Outlet. My dad actually bought me this um, as a late birthday gift for this year um, where we went to uh, see my sister. But yes, you guys, just a quick little tour. I mean, look at the color of that interior. It's kind of giving like, mm, kind of like dark brown maybe, like a dark brown color. We've got this pocket, this huge opening. We have obviously a shoulder strap. And then, oh, I thought there was another pocket, but no. So it's just like a big opening, you guys. I love it, I love it, I love it. We already know we can wear it as a crossbody. We can even wear it as a shoulder bag. I mean, you could always put like a little chain piece right here. But I absolutely love this one, you guys. Coach Charlotte shoulder bags. So we have one in black and then one in this beautiful like cream color. I know it's not showing that well on the camera. So yes, there we are. Just bringing it in a little bit closer. But we have this beautiful chalk color but yes you guys absolutely love these these definitely had their viral moment on tiktok that's actually where i found out about these bags and um, they went viral and they were found like in stores like tj maxx marshall's ross i actually purchased both of mine um, from two different tj maxx stores and they are so freaking cute you guys very 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 small i'm telling you you can get so much stuff in these. And for me, you already know it's the versatility. Being able to take the chain off and make it into a crossbody if you want it to, or just a long strap shoulder bag. And then we have the opening right here, you guys. We even have like a little back side pocket. But these are amazing. And these are called the Coach Charlotte Shoulder Bags. I love these. I mean, if you really wanted to get creative, you could really carry this as like a clutch, remove the strap and carry it like up underneath your arm like that. You could make it, you know, as a clutch. This is cute. I absolutely love this, you guys. And then the same thing with the chalk one. I'm not going to go into detail um, just because it's literally the exact same bag, you guys exact same bag just a different color stunning you guys 10 out of a 10 coach denim raya in the size 21 i love this bag 
Now I will say this was actually a backpack. This was a backpack. I removed the straps from the back and I made it more so into like a top handle handbag. I was definitely gravitated to this bag just because of the logo. And while I'm never that type of girl that's like logo just straight out there in your face, I love what Coach did with this. It's just very subtle. I don't know if it's just like the texture of the bag because the bag is denim, but this is beautiful. I mean, this looks so expensive. Like this is designer. Well, Coach is designer, in my opinion. It is designer. I say it's designer. But yes, you guys, I love this bag. I love it. I love it. I love it. I've reviewed this bag quite a few times on previous videos on my channel. You have um, this little opening pocket right here. Sorry that I jumped right into it, you guys. But yes, I've reviewed this bag plenty of times. So you'll see, you know, more in detail and stuff. But just a quick tour. We've got this little front pocket right here. We also have, obviously, the opening um, of the body of the bag. Now it can be a little tricky because you do have like this little piece up underneath there where you have to press up on it and it unlocks. And then we have the bag itself. So much can fit in here. We have this back pocket, the opening. Like I said, you guys, a lot of stuff can fit in here. And then not only do I carry this as like a top handle, but I also carry it as like a shoulder bag. So we have that chain that I was telling you earlier about. And then all I pretty much do is just hook it onto the bag and then boom. Well, I actually hooked it backwards, you guys. Hang on just a second. So we're going to hook it. But yes. So now not only do we have the top handle, but we also have like a shoulder bag and it's stunning. You guys, I love that it hits me at a decent length and it's so chic, but yeah, you can carry it like this. You can carry it like this. It's gorgeous. You guys, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I do know that, well, wait a minute. Now that I think about it, I don't think coach, currently has this one in stock on their website anymore, but you can find it through other department stores. I actually purchased mine through belt.com. Um, it's a store here in the South, a department store. But yes, I know that they still have the Coach Denim Raya. Coach Quilted Tabby backpack. I have talked and raved about this backpack so much, you guys. I absolutely love it. It is so freaking cute it is like this bag 10 out of a 10. now i will say there are a couple of cons that i do have about my coach quilted tabby backpack i will say i kind of do wish the pockets were a little bit smaller but i mean it's no big deal i don't really put anything like in the front pockets anyways um now i will say sometimes it is kind of difficult for me to get into like well, I should say, well, not difficult for me to get into the bag, but sometimes I have like a little difficulty closing the bag. Um, and I think that may just be because I need to have more stuff in the bag. But rather than that, though, the bag itself is beautiful. Now, I will say the chain. The weight of the chain, I do wish it were a little bit more heavier just because, you know, based on how much of stuff you have on the inside of the bag it's gonna make the chain you know kind of like dig into your skin but for the most part i usually only have like my essentials in my bag anyways so it's not that big of a deal but overall this is a beautiful bag a beautiful bag can be worn multiple ways we have the inside that is super huge the back pocket. I do typically carry mine as a shoulder bag. I showed like how I make it into a shoulder bag in previous videos before. But yes, you guys, this bag and the versatility, 10 out of a 10. And of course, we already know it's definitely giving Chanel vibes. 
Chanel vibes, but on the low, low, you guys. And see, that's what I'm talking about. Like, I kind of have a little difficulty sometimes stuffing it, but I mean, for obvious reasons, I know I don't have anything in here. And then we have these two little small baby cargo um, pockets. But yes. Oh, I actually have something in here. Okay. Well, we'll see what that is. But anyways, love this bag. Love this bag. Love this bag. They do have it also on Amazon available in all three colors, the black, the chalk, and the dragon fruit. And I think you can sign up on coaches like um, wait list for the handbag um, for the black. I believe it is supposed to be back in stock. It says the fall is supposed to be coming back. So yes, you guys definitely sign up for that wait list and you can have you a coach quilted tabby backpack as well. So I love this bag, you guys. I love it. I love it. I love it. The coach quilted tabby 26 stunning bag. Stunning, stunning, stunning bag, you guys. I have no, just, uh, like my breath is always taken away with this bag. I absolutely love this bag. Despite the few flaws in this bag, and I'm not going to get into it because I've talked about it too many times, probably on my channel, this will still always be a favorite bag of mine. And guess what, you guys? Coach now has the Coach Quilted Tabby in the size 33 with the gold brass hardware. And if you watched my video, um, the one where I talked about my favorite, my top three favorite Coach handbags, I talked about how I wanted to add another Coach Tabby to my collection. So you already know, eventually, I'm going to be adding the exact same handbag, just in the size 33, to my collection. When I saw that Coach had it, and I don't think a lot of people know that Coach now has the size 33, which is the largest quilted tabby in the gold brass hardware. I mean, call me crazy, because at this point, I'm going to have two Coach quilted tabbies in the same color and the same hardware, the 26. And I plan to have the 33 right over here. So yes, you guys, and I would love to do a video and compare and contrast like the bags, um, size differences. And then also too, it'll be just another piece to add to my coach quilted tabby collection, you guys. And I also mentioned about how I wanted another 26, but I wanted it with the silver hardware too as well. This is currently the bag that I am carrying you guys, um, right now, I am currently carrying this bag and it is stunning, you guys. Stunning. But yes, in the back pocket too, right here, you guys. But yes, you guys. So that is actually it for this week's video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I know that was a lot of handbags and I'm pretty sure there are people that have way more handbags than me, but I do continue to just build and grow and grow and grow my handbag collection. And like I mentioned before earlier, you guys, if you are interested in purchasing any of the handbags that I know that are still currently in stock, I will have the information listed and linked below in my description box. But yes, you guys, thank you. Thank you a million times. Thank you for tuning in to this week's video. And please come back next week. Come back next week for more. But other than that, though, you guys, please like, subscribe, and comment. Bye!